plate. Welcome back everybody. And this is going to be um, one of the final segments in the swish experiment. And I've got my whiskey shirt on here in celebration of the big day. So the swish has been sitting in the barrel now for just over three weeks, about three and a half weeks. And again, I put 12 liters of distilled water in there. So I'm honestly not sure how much is gonna come back out of the barrel. I'm sure that the oak staves are going to hold on to a portion of that liquid. And I have been rotating it every uh, two to three days just to make sure that a different uh, part of the barrel is being absorbed by that liquid. And so I do know that there is some liquid in there. I just have no idea how much. So what I've got right here, uh, in case you wanna do your own swish barrel experiment, is I've just got some two by fours that I got from Home Depot. So I just got a standard um, 10 foot length of uh, two by four, cut it in half, um, made some very just scrap wood kind of braces in between the two by fours. And this is gonna be our kind of rolling system for when we're dumping our barrel out. And then I've got this very handy 15 liter clear bucket from Home Depot so you guys can kind of see the swish coming out, see what kind of quality it is, see if there's any charred bits of the barrel in there, if there's any other foreign matter, who the heck knows what could be in there. We might find a small drunken mouse, uh, we could find, uh, you know, some bugs, whatever, you know, we'll have to see what, what the swish looks like. And the other thing that you're going to want for filtering out the charred bits is just basically a standard sieve, just like this, just a little pre-filtering so that, you know, if you were getting barrel proof bourbon, you know, it would go through something similar like this to remove any chunks of, of the charcoal or of the, you know, uh, barrel char, uh, any large kind of foreign particles they wouldn't want in the whiskey. And then for the large part, you know, lots of the um, bourbons that we love that are at cask strength or um, that are at barrel proof are actually unfiltered after that point. Um, we are actually going to filter this just so that you remove any uh, barrel sediment or anything that's undesired. So after this initial kind of hard filter stage here where we're filtering out any large particles, we're gonna actually put it through some coffee filters just to kind of get it as clean as possible before we go ahead and try out the swish. So the one other thing that you'd need is the rubber mallet and that is just to kind of tap the bung out to pour out your liquid into your clear uh, vessel or container, uh, which will be your kind of swish collection bucket. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and start rolling this bucket and see what we get. All right, so I've got the barrel on the barrel rolling mechanism here, which is again, just very simply these two by fours. And the only thing that we're going to have, as you guys can see already from the video here, little bit of difficulty with is that it didn't line up with the bung there. So I'm just gonna slide it manually back with my hands just so I can get it into a position where I can empty it out from the bung. All right guys, so I've made a little adjustment to the barrel there. Now I can actually even just dump it from this point here pretty easily. I'm pretty much right over the um, plastic container, which is kind of where I want to be. I want to be able to dump it out and have it strain through the strainer as it goes into this container here. So we're actually in a pretty good position right here. So I might just go ahead and give this a try. All right. So I'm going to put the barrel back up here to take out the bung here. So just going to give this a tap with the rubber mallet and hopefully that just comes out very easily here. And there we go. So we got the bung out. I can smell that there's definitely some liquid that's interacted with the wood even on just the bung there. So let's go ahead and dump this barrel and see what kind of swish we get. All right, guys, it is working. It is working. Um, there is a lot of liquid in here, way more than I expected there would be still at this point. Like we have got a lot of volume going into our clear container here. All right, pretty cool, guys. So there we go. That's what's kind of been captured by the sieve. So just some really small particles of barrel char and I will hold up our swish experiment here. 
So this is what we've got. All right, so that's obviously very unfiltered right now. So we will head inside to the kitchen for the next step of the swish experiment, which is putting this through a couple of coffee filters. We'll see you guys in the next segment. Cheers.